Hi guys, this is Joe. Right in front of me is the HTC Incredible S. So this is one of the latest uh, model from HTC. So maybe I'll give you an overview of um, the whole device. Okay, you can see that it has a matte surface, uh, sorry, a matte back surface. And uh, I've tried on a very uh, smooth surface, it actually holds on very well. And at the back, let me move closer. You can see that it has a rather large lens. It's an 8 megapixel with two LEDs. And here it seems to be a speaker port. So moving to the top, I hope you can see this. Moving to the top, you can see it's a power on button. Power on button and the 3.5mm jack 3.5mm jack um, for your audio ok on the bottom is clean and I believe this is a microphone so really let focus this is a microphone and on the side on one side is clean that means there is no button at all moving to the next side you can see that it has a, a data transfer and a charger port uh, which is a micro USB port and a rocker switch for the volume okay. and let's open up and see what's inside so uh, to open up is a little bit tricky because uh, it seems that HTC has done a good job and the uh, the, the cover is quite seamless so you need to pry open the bag to see what's inside so to do this there's a little little slot here you can use a fingernail to open it up ok here's the cover I did a test on the cover because uh, I was thinking what is all this uh, connector point or um, copper strip and uh, I was thinking that is one of the some sensors to to, to stop the uh, phone from powering up but uh, in fact it's not uh, after reading through I, I realized that it's, it may be just an antenna to make the reception better so on the back you can see that it has a rather big battery so um, looking at this back you see that it again uses some of the transparent or translucent uh, material that you see in some other models of the HTC it seems that this become the normal trend for HTC as you can see right now um, it has a SIM card slot here so um, you, you need to push in the SIM card from here and this is the connector point for the battery other than this there is not much else at the back